Well, summer is the time for travel, fun and lazy days. So now that the kids are back at school, it's the perfect time to embrace the structure of a schedule by getting back into your workout routine. Here to give us five ways to get back to your fitness routine is Nicole Pardon from Fit Soul by Nicole. Welcome. Great to have Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes, yeah, schedules get really, really tight right now. And the first thing to go for many people, workouts. Often. Yes. yes. So let's Unfortunately. cram it in. Let's do it. Yes, we're going to find a way to do it. Yes, five tips. First one, do something you love. Yes. That's you know, a lot of people say, I'm going to work out, and they go to the gym and do something really, really hard for the first day, and then A, they're sore for a long time, mm -hmm. and they're not encouraged to go back, or they absolutely hate the gym. So <laughs> really, you know, exercise can be different for everyone. Um, it's just find something that you enjoy doing, whether it's yoga, whether it's walking. Um, so the homework it would be to kind of just, I ask clients to kind of write down three things that they absolutely love and tie that into your health. And that helps keep you motivated. I too. love that. Okay. Next one, eat healthy foods that you enjoy. Awesome. awesome. Same thing. Um, you know, if you find you're going to put yourself on a really, really strict diet and eat something that you hate. Then you're Again, not, you're not gonna, yes, you're not I mean, do it. I've like brought that tuna for lunch and then I want to eat anything else. So like find a couple things, like for me, it's protein shakes, a protein bar, string cheese and nuts. Find five snacks that you like and just automate that. Keep mm -hmm. eating those. Um, but, you know, don't say I'm only going to eat salad. And if you don't, if you hate that, but right. find healthy things that right. you love. Okay. Sweat with your kids. Love That's that an idea. easy one, mm -hmm. right? But not always as easy done than said. Sometimes yeah. it's hard to get them off the couch. But again, this goes back to just finding a movement that you love and doing something. Yes. Nobody's saying that you have to run a marathon or no, lift heavy weights five something. days a week. Yeah. yeah. And just then you can be kind of that positive influence too. So get them off the couch. Yeah. And schedule the time. That's the most important thing. I That's think. That's kind of yeah. the biggest thing Park I think out. I wanted to talk about today is just if you write it down in your schedule, you commit to doing it you decide that's what helps lead to the motivation mm -hmm. so you know get out those schedules now right in when you're gonna work out yeah. and this also falls into times that work for you mm -hmm. as you're doing a movement that you love do you like to work out at 530 in the morning before the kids get on the bus or is it better after or do you want to do something all together just right now schedule it in yeah. and you're more apt to do okay. it. Okay. All right. And speaking of time, keep workouts quick and effective. They don't have to be long, do they? Yes. And as you know, this is my mantra. Um, high intensity interval exercises. Most of the workouts that I give to my clients are under 30 minutes. But if you're pushing really hard for that short period of time, you get the fat burning and the calorie burning. Awesome. All right. We have an example of that. Let's show people quick make me work today. Workout. Yes, she? exactly. Number one, push up to downward dog. Yeah. So we start out, we're going to warm up upper body and core. And you can get kind of an interval timer app. Again, most of my workouts, we're going to go hard for 40 seconds, 30 seconds. You set the time and rest. Okay. So first, we're going to do a push-up, warming up our shoulders, and then come to a little stretch into a downward dog. If you need to modify, you can always do that push-up on your knee, keeping your core in tight, using your core to lift and awesome. stretch. So okay. you would just do that about 30 seconds, take a yeah. little breather and then move to the next All one. Right, we have about 30 seconds left. So let's go through these squat, sure. triple pulse and jump. That's down, 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 and up. jump using your core, Perfect. legs, and Again, heart rate 40 up. on, yep. 40 on, okay. 20 on. Ice skaters, back So and ice forth. skaters are just step and out, step and out with a hip opener. You can jump as much as you want. Okay. Stretches that hip and gets the heart rate up. And then alternating plank reach. Yep, so we're gonna finish with a core exercise onto your forearms. Planks are always good. You can also add a reach and a lift. Okay. That's kind of the um, advanced move. And, and then, then we have one more core v, exercise. Yeah, V up with a twist. on the floor here. <laughs> so you're gonna come down, V up, knees in, um, shoulders up, and twist. Oh, down, wow. come up, okay. twist. If you need That's to modify, tough. You can do one leg. All right. And then you have a special going on right now, aren't you? You're challenging people, 30 day challenge. I do. I have September a 30 day 11th. back to school challenge that starts September 11th. But the one thing I would recommend is I try to give people a lot of value and have a seven day jump start, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, which gives you three workouts for a week, a diet plan and all that you need to get jump started. And I can help you with Nicole, that. And that's absolutely you. free. I love it. Thank you so much.